Hello to everyone. This video was made to support my research paper on teardown of the insulin pump and firmware extraction process. It will be presented at Hardware I.O. conference as part of my keynote speech. Here I will demonstrate the firmware update and restore process to see whether we can successfully turn the used port back in, into its original state. So here is what Omniport new port looks like and here's what uh, used port looks like you can still see the cannula sticking out and the port doesn't communicate with the PDM controller after it has been used uh, so in order to upload and access the controller inside the port we need to open it first and that was demonstrated in my previous video so I will use the used port uh, that has been wired to the connector and you only need three wires to reprogram the flash inside the controller and this is what PDM controller for the port looks like so if we try to communicate with the port there will be no success because the port was used and was deactivated. So you can see there's a communication error demonstrated by PDM. Uh, in order to reprogram the flash inside the port controller we need a programmer. As a programmer I use a very simple Freescale demo board. Uh, you can buy this board for less than $50 and the board comes with the software to compile your own project, to debug it and also it can act as a flash memory programmer for any um, Freescale HC08 microcontroller. So we plug this board into USB and we use the Freescale code Warrior software that came with this board to program the flash inside port we load the test project doesn't matter what project you use because we are only interested in the flash programming part so we plug the port into the board and we go into debug mode now we need to connect the flash programming part of the demo board with the microcontroller inside the port. Press the connect button. We don't want to reprogram flash at this time because we need to change the, uh, the microcontroller specification because it's different from the demo board. So we go into uh, expert mode programmer mode and immediately the programmer detects that the microcontroller inside port is secured and this is to prevent the f access to the firmware from anyone um, we don't erase it we upload the new algorithm and again it tells us that the device is secure and the only option you have at this time is to erase the whole flash of the port's controller we do that. Now we can test whether the flash is empty and we can program it with the firmware that was extracted from the brand new port. <coughs> Press the flash programming button. The flash is programmed. We can verify. Everything is correct. So now we can unplug the port and we also need to reset it by short circuiting the reset and ground now we try to activate the port as it as if it was new and, and see whether we were successful with reprogramming the firmware yes we want to activate the port now the PDM controller tells us that we need to fill the port with the insulin 
and after hearing two beeps we can proceed further. Because this is used port we cannot refill the tank because the membrane was uh, locked. So we need to simulate the tank filling process by simply short circuiting the, um, uh, the test pads next to the tank and if we hear two beeps then we will be successful yeah now we hear two beeps so hopefully the port is ready to be primed right let's next okay the PDM goes into priming and you can see that the gears inside the port starts turning so that means we are successful in um, the priming process so we need to wait until the priming is finished and at the end of the priming process the PDM and the port are linked together so that they, they can securely communicate with each other so a few more seconds to finish the priming so now the gears stop turning and you can see the few drops of insulin uh, pushed out of the tank okay press next um, um, now the port is ready for the kernel insertion but because it's used port we cannot uh, restart the kernel insertion process so it, because the, the mechanical mechanism inside the port is one time use so we just press the start button so that the software inside the port thinks that uh, <coughs> the mechanical part is working so a few more turns of the gears and the port should be ready for the normal operation so we say everything is okay so now it's in the full operational mode and back in life so you can see by reprogramming the firmware back to its original state the port can can be reused and the software works as it was a brand new port now we can also use the software to see what part of the flash memory has been changed so we plug the port back into the programmer um, we reset the processor reconnect it now we specify the algorithm and we can verify the firmware we programmed with what is inside the port and this is because we didn't activate the security protection so you can see that the contents at address 4000 has been changed 4001 is different 2, 3, 4 and so on and also we can download the contents of the flash memory into a file and we can then compare this file with the original firmware image to see what differences were made during each uh, uh, step of the uh, port working process um, unfortunately once you access the firmware inside the port the port can no longer be used so if we disconnect the port from the programmer it will no longer operate uh, if we reset it uh, it will not respond to the PDM controller I see there's a 
communication error and if we try to reset the port it will go into constant beep and you see the con PDM controller tells us that there is an error with the port insulin delivery stopped so we need to deactivate the port and either reprogram it or use a new one so now it's stopped beeping port is deactivated and we can no longer use it but we can refresh the firmware and test it again and that's the end of the demonstration i hope you enjoyed it thank you for your attention